So it's mid-January. Happy New Year, by the way. The dust has settled from all the holiday sales, shopping, gifting, etc. And here you are, sitting in front of your brand new editing station, or an upgraded one, watching YouTube instead of working. Oh no, that's right, it's just rendering in the background. Still, you wonder, how come my new system isn't as fast as I thought it would be? Well, chances are you have overlooked one key component. Let me show you how to find out. Drum roll. It's probably your hard drive. It's not even your fault, even Film Riot in their tips to speed up post-production did not even mention storage speeds. Plus, I get it, a graphics card and a processor are much more sexier pieces of hardware. By now you've probably heard the term bottleneck being thrown around when it comes to performance and that is exactly what a slow one of these can create. Even if you have a $50,000 top of the line computer with really fast internal storage, this might still be a problem for you. I mean, that's just silly. For example, we were just shocked when last week, after completing a filming job at a self-described multi-million dollar video production company, we went to hand off the footage to the editors, and it took them close to an hour to transfer the footage. Upon a closer look, we found that even though the ingest computer for our footage was a 3900X with an RTX 2080 Ti, he was copying it over to one of many, what, $50 mechanical external hard drives? That's bananas! You see, it doesn't matter at all how fast your workstation can process video files if it can't grab the video files fast enough. Just like how new cameras have very demanding storage solution needs. Oh no, no not that. Again, that's just silly. This is my disappointed look. <laughs> it's for a good reason. The camera needs to store video information faster than it's processing. Conversely, for your computer to have smooth playback, smooth is better, it needs at least something equally fast. That's without mentioning multicam editing. <laughs> I was gonna say oof, but it wouldn't come out. <laughs> That's without mentioning multicam editing, which is so much fun. <laughs> and while a lot of modern computers ship with very fast internal storage, they often don't ship with enough of it, even on the high end. So if you are editing with external media because your internal fast storage is too slow, you are probably bottlenecking your system. That is, the computer can't access your videos fast enough to display them. A great way to find out if you have this problem is to open your resource manager and take a look. Let's look at that. If your hard drive is pinning at 100% usage while your CPU and GPU are just laying back, uh, you need faster storage. Maybe. Probably. Here at Neverland Productions, we have a RAID 0 of 3 2 terabyte SSDs that back up every hour to our ZFS NAS. It's good enough to edit 3 to 4 4K multicam clips. NVMe storage is the best option in terms of performance, but to implement it in large enough quantities while it's getting easier, it is still prohibitively expensive and difficult. So what is the best solution for you? Well, we can't decide that for you. I don't know your work volume, or your workflow, or your life, or what you had for breakfast. I don't know you. We could be friends though, I don't know man. <laughs> but if you feel like the lag is just unbearable, especially when going from one cut to the next. As you remember, a mechanical drive has to go find that other portion of that other video file each time the playhead goes over one of these. Well then, at the very least, try to get some temporary fast storage, like one of... One of these. One of these. It ain't perfect, but it's affordable and will make your life less of a living nightmare. Speaking of nightmares, we made a new channel. <laughs> it's empty and has no subscribers. It's our nightmare. If you haven't already, first check out these two short films, maybe here, that we made in 2019. And then go subscribe uh, to the new channel where we plan to upload many more videos this year. And don't forget to also like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you're not. Uh, yeah, links to the products featured down below. It helps a lot. Okay, bye. Was that too rushed?